This is an ultrasonic proximity sensor. It uses two transducers to transmit and receive ultrasonic pulses which bounce off of objects relaying back to us information about an object's proximity. The connection to the sensor has four pins, plus five volt power, trigger, echo, and ground. A closer look at both sides of the sensor reveals that there is a lot going on in the background to make this sensor work. The amount of supporting circuitry found specifically on the back side of the sensor shows you that it takes a lot to get this type of sensor to work. The schematic for this sensor looks like this with three integrated circuits and the two transducers. However, far more important is how we use the sensor. The operation of the sensor is surprisingly simple. First, a 10 microsecond pulse is sent to the trigger pin. Then the sensor will get data. And finally, the echo pin will output a single pulse relaying proximity distance information. These two formulas here define how to translate the pulse width information into how far away an object is from the sensor. And if we perform this operation repeatedly, we can accurately track if anything is in front of the sensor and exactly how far away it is. For this lesson, let's build a system that uses this sensor and eight LEDs as output, with each LED representing a 10 centimeter step away from the sensor. First, let's go through the hardware schematic that is required to build the 8 LED output ultrasonic proximity sensor input system. We start with the Arduino Nano and connect its plus 5 volt and ground lines to the breadboard's bus lines. Then we connect digital pin 2 and 3 to the echo and trigger pins of the sensor. The sensor also connects to plus 5 volt and ground. After that, one by one, we connect 8 LEDs to digital pins 4 to 11. Each LED has a current limiting 470 ohm resistor in front of it. Now let's go over to the Arduino program that makes this system work. First, we define the trig pin as digital pin 3 and the echo pin as digital pin 2. Next, we will declare some long integers called duration, centimeter, and inches. Finally, digital pins 4 to 11 are set for each of the 8 LEDs. We will also use a separate update LEDs function to update the LEDs. Thus, we must declare the function here as well. In the setup function, we set the serial port to 9600 bits per second, the trigger pin as an output, the echo pin as an input, and the eight LEDs all as outputs. In the loop function, we first send the 10 microsecond pulse to the trigger pin. Then we capture the length of the pulse from the echo pin. Afterward, we convert the pulse width using the formulas from the datasheet into inches and centimeters. And then since we know the distance away from the object in centimeters, we can update the LEDs. In addition, we will also output the distance detected in inches and centimeters to our laptop. The update LEDs function is simply eight if else statements that check to see if the distance is greater than the threshold in centimeters for that LED. And with that, the Arduino program is complete. Give it a compile and upload it to the Arduino Nano. To build the circuit for this experiment, we'll need an introduction to sensors components kit, a breadboard, and a jumper wire kit. The parts from the components kit that we will use are the Arduino Nano, the ultrasonic proximity sensor, eight red LEDs, and eight 470 ohm resistors. To build the circuit, place the Arduino Nano into the breadboard. Starting at digital pin 11, going down to digital pin four, we will use eight orange wires to break things out. The plus five volt and ground pins from the Arduino Nano connect to the breadboard bus lines. And from each of those eight orange wires, a 470 ohm resistor will connect to a red LED, with the LED then connecting to ground. Then we will connect two yellow wires from digital pin two and three to the trigger and echo pins of the ultrasonic proximity sensor. The sensor also connects to plus five volt power and ground. With the circuit ready to go, I'll connect the USB to power it up 
and turn on the Arduino serial monitor. Right away, you see some LEDs light up as the object is detected. A 30 centimeter ruler will give you an idea for how accurate the sensor can be. Now watch closely as I move the object back and forth. The output from the serial monitor carefully and accurately tracks the distance away from the object. Similarly, the LEDs light up with each LED representing 10 centimeters of distance all the way up to 80 centimeters. With the added ability of detecting distance, this type of proximity sensor becomes far more versatile. It can help navigating robots figure out the best way to walk around. In other instances, proximity sensors that offer distance measurements can also be used for safety measures to decrease or increase speeds of a motor. And on top of all that, proximity sensors like the ones we've just seen, whether using ultrasonic frequencies or infrared light, offer a very simple way to build a basic type of radar system with potential for up to 360 degree object detection. All parts in this online course were provided by the Gadgetory. Visit them at gadgetory.com slash pyroedu. Next time in lesson eight, we will be looking at how to use a light sensor to make a laser tripwire just like you see on TV and in the movies.